Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Since the dawn of time, Earth has not seen a more remarkable species than the human. We've done amazing things. We've invented flight, even without wings. We've developed moving metal boxes. And we've even invented one that can move underwater. And now we're trying to do the work of nature. Well, we're not actually trying. We've already done the work of nature. Human scientists over the last three decades or so have managed to create actual animals. And today, we'll be looking through our most terrifying experiments yet. Number 10, glow-in-the-dark mice. You've heard of glow-in-the-dark shirts, glow-in-the-dark bands, and even glow-in-the-dark chains, but you've almost certainly not even seen a glow-in-the-dark mice. Stanford University scientists, however, have made them possible. But how did they do this? And most importantly, well, scientists made use of compounds that create the proteins that fireflies use to light up. The scientists refine compounds that carry instructions for assembling the proteins that make fireflies light up, and then use those refined proteins to create mice that glow in the dark, just like fireflies. So what happened to the mice after it started to glow? Nothing, really. They continued living their life normally. But why was this done? This is surely not some weird flex, right? Yeah, it's not. The creation of the glow in the dark mice marks a great leap forward for gene therapy. These scientists were not just able to show that they can get protein instructions, which are called mRNA, into a cell. They also showed that they were able to force those cells to follow the instructions of the mRNA. Basically, if this procedure works well for rats, it could just as well work for humans and provide a new option for treating genetic illnesses. Number nine, cows that don't fart as much. We know, we know this sounds silly, but did you know that methane from cow farts is a major source of the greenhouse gas causing global warming? Well, if you didn't before, now you do. So how was this cow created? Well, one idea was to mess with the microbes that live in the rumen of cows. It is these tiny microbes that enable fermentation during digestion, and thus are the ones responsible for the methane released by cows. By finding out these genes, scientists are able to manipulate them in a way that ensures that the methane that a cow produces is a lot less than it normally would be. If these sort of cows are bred more, it's not impossible to say that it'll have a significant positive effect on global warming. Number eight, cow milk with no allergy. It appears that scientists just love messing around with cows. The eighth genetically engineered animal on this list is another cow, or cows rather. Scientists have discovered that they can create genetically modified cows that won't produce milk with beta-lactoglobin, or BLG, a protein that many people are allergic to. This protein isn't present in human milk, but it is present in cow milk. Now, scientists in New Zealand have found a way to genetically engineer cows that won't produce milk like that. The first cow that was engineered to do this was called Daisy, and the genetic alteration on the cow slashed the level of BLG in her milk to insignificant levels. Unlike other animals on this list, Daisy the cow wasn't just genetically modified. She was actually cloned. To make her, scientists made use of cow skin cells and genetically modified them to produce molecules that block the manufacture of BLG protein. The nucleus of the cell was then transferred to a cow egg that had its nucleus removed. The reconstituted egg was then grown in a lab until it formed what is called a blastocyst. This blastocyst was then transplanted into the womb of the foster cow. So if you're allergic to milk, this is great news. The future may bring great news for you yet. Number seven, muscle pigs. Pigs are generally not muscular. When you think of a pig, you don't think of a buff animal that would be able to maul you. However, with the creation of buff pigs, you may need to stop thinking that. Well, it started with the existence of the Belgian blue cattle. These animals are huge animals that usually provide an insanely large amount of lean cuts of beef as a result of decades of careful selective breeding. However, scientists say that there is even a much faster way to produce animals like this. And what's that way? Genetic modification, of course. Scientists from South Korea and China were able to create the porcine equivalent of the Belgian blue cattle using genetic modification. The question, though, is how? The answer is pretty simple when broken down to the simplest base. The scientists simply disrupted and edited a single gene. The key, simply put, was to remove the MSTN gene, which is a gene that usually keeps muscle growth in check. By knocking out this gene, 
the pigs were able to develop a bulk of muscle fibers with no hindrance whatsoever. Number six, Dolly the sheep. Dolly the sheep may not be a terrifying animal, but the consequences of her creation may be quite terrifying. Dolly the sheep was the first mammal to be cloned from an adult somatic cell using the process of nuclear transfer. The hybrid cell is then stimulated to divide by an electric shock, and when it develops into a blastocyst, it is implanted into a surrogate mother. Dolly lived her entire life in a lab and was able to give birth to six perfectly normal lambs. Unlike many people would expect, she didn't develop any adverse health issues related to her status as a clone. Unfortunately, at the later stages of her life, she developed arthritis and lung disease. This eventually led to her death. The important thing here is that the creation of Dolly means that humans may be able to save endangered species. Number five, part cow, part bacteria. Gene editing technology is amazing, and it can be a force of good, but sometimes it can be used to create something truly terrifying, something never thought of. Something like part cow, part bacteria. Scientists for a long time have wanted to be able to breed a cow that would provide great milk, but without horns. When gene editing technology became advanced enough, they finally did it and created two bulls called Burry and Spatingi. These bulls didn't have horns, and they still maintain the great milk quality of regular horned cows. The plan was to use the sperm of Burry and Spuntingi to create a new generation of hornless cows. They would be easier to rear, and farmers wouldn't have to worry about cows injuring themselves with huge horns. But for these cows to be marketed and sold, they needed to have clearance from relevant agencies. It was during this process that something shocking was discovered. These cows weren't just cows, they were part cows and part bacterium. How could this have possibly happened? Well, during the process of editing the cow genes, some bacterium got mixed with the gene editing tools. This made sure that the DNA of the cow was, once again, part cow, part bacteria. Number four, GMO salmon. Aqua Advantage salmon is a kind of salmon that has been genetically modified to grow faster than regular salmon, and it may even taste better. The salmon contains a gene from the Chinook salmon that makes it develop faster than other salmon. The growth hormone regulating gene in the Atlantic salmon was replaced with the growth hormone regulating gene from Pacific Chinook salmon to create the Aqua Advantage salmon. The gene gotten from the Pacific Chinook salmon enables the GM salmon to grow year round instead of only during spring and summer. Number three, tiny micro pigs. Gene editing technology isn't usually used to create animals for recreational purposes. However, scientists in China are starting to push the limits of what gene editing technology can actually do. They've used a new genome editing technique called CRISPR slash CAS9 to modify the genes of Bama pigs to create tiny micro pigs. The pigs were created using enzymes known as talons transcription activator-like effector nucleuses to disable certain genes. And one of the genes disabled were the growth genes. That way, the pigs would never really grow past the size of a small dog. The institute that made these pigs say that they would soon be available for sale. Yep, the pet of the future would most likely be made in a lab. Now it's time for today's best pick. This picture was sent in by a subscriber. If you want to know about a certain picture, you can send it in as well. Who knows? Your picture may just be on the next video. Number two, pig organ donors. It appears we're gonna talk about pigs again. This is the third time, right? Pig organ donors are precisely what they sound like. Scientists have discovered that some pig organs may be sufficient for human transplant, and with a little genetic modification, they can rig pigs to actually grow with perfectly healthy organs that can be transplanted into humans. Unfortunately, this technology isn't yet perfected, and we're still a few years or decades from actual pig organ donors. This technology, if perfected, will definitely save a lot of lives. Maybe it's not so terrifying after all. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, goat that spins silk. Spider goat, spider goat, does whatever a spider, you know what, forget it. So yes, scientists have actually found a way to create goats that can spin silk. 
but how? And for the love of God, why? This particular work was done in 2012 when a group of scientists at the University of Wyoming were successful in genetically engineering goats that could provide silk. But why silk? Why not something else? Well, spider silk is very elastic, and it has a tensile strength that is incredibly strong compared to steel or Kevlar, and could be one day used as bulletproof fabric. However, it's difficult to farm enough spiders to produce enough silk to make any of this feasible. In fact, the only cloth made of spider silk made use of about a million spiders. A more cost-effective approach would be to create other animals, like a goat, for example, that can produce spider silk in enough quantities. That's what the scientists did. They found a way to transfer spider silk spinning genes into a goat, allowing them to harvest the silk protein from the goat's milk for a variety of applications. And that's it for today. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys and stay safe.